Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well today we're going to show you how you can decorate your little hamburger menu on mobile there. Change it from the default to something a little more interesting like this. Really easy to do. We've got to do a little bit of coding for this today. Don't let that worry you. Any code I write I'll put down below the video and you're welcome to use it as you wish. So let's get started. I'm going to shut this page down. Okay, here we are at Divi with our regular menu here. I'm using Google Chrome with the great inspector tools. If I hit my F12 key, it'll bring up the inspector tools here. Most browsers have this nowadays, but if yours doesn't, Google Chrome is a free download. I've got the responsive toggle on. If I turn it on, you can view it on a phone or a tablet, whatever you want to there. I'm going to leave it on the phone view there. I'll make it a lot bigger so you can see what's going on. Okay, well, here's our little mobile menu and the color of it is dictated by your theme customizer. That's your active link color that you've got set for your site. But we're going to change that with a bit of CSS anyway. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to expect it. And if I bring this up a little bit higher here, we've got mobile menu bar, mobile menu toggle. If we go over here, we've got mobile menu bar and we can start putting in whatever we want there. If you just left click after the last line of text there, it'll go down to a new line. Say we want to make that bigger or smaller. Let's say transform colon scale. Put some round brackets at the end inside the brackets. You can tell it by how much you want it to scale. Let's say if you want it half the size, 0 0.5. If you want it twice the size, 2. Let's compromise. I'm going to make mine perhaps 0.7 over the size. And that'll work for me for the time being. Perhaps you might want to give it a background color if you want to do that. Again, left click at the end there. I'm going to say background. Colon. And put in the color. I've got my color for my logo right there. Now, as you can see, we've got way too much padding on the bottom. If we look just up above here, we've got a padding setting for the bottom there. We can change that. I'm going to give mine perhaps four picks all around. So I'll say padding. Four picks, but we still got that bit of on the bottom. So we need to override that by using the important which is exclamation mark and the word important. Don't like to use this, but sometimes you have to use it. Now that's a lot better. That's actually the size that we want it. Now, because we've shrunken it down a little bit and taken that padding off the bottom, it's dropped. So we can counter that with a bit of negative margin on the top. So again, left click on the last line that you did and we're going to say margin dash top colon now let's try negative 20 pixels or something like that. Negative 20 pixels. Depending on the size of yours, you'll have to adjust yours accordingly. Okay, well that works fine. Now perhaps if you wanted to make that round in shape, we could do that with a bit of border radius. And again, left click, we'll say border. Now we're going to make it 50%. That'll make it nice and round. Now, it's only going to make that round if you start off with a square. We started off with a square, so we're okay. Yep, that works fine. If you wanted to put a little actual border around it, you can do that with border. So we'll say border. Let's yeah, say two picks, solid. And let's make it the light color of my little logo there. Now I've got my color saved here. That's great. We got that little light blue color around there. That's great. But if I was to refresh this page, it would all default back to the normal. So what I've got to do, I've got to make this permanent by copying it and writing it into my custom CSS panel or my additional CSS panel. So I'm going to select it from the dot of mobile menu bar all the way down to that last closing bracket there. I'm going to copy it. Control C. I'm going to go to my theme customize additional CSS for anybody who doesn't know how to get there. Go down to your dashboard. Once at the dashboard, go down to appearance and customize. 
That will take us to this page here. Scroll down, you'll find the additional CSS panel on the bottom here. If there's something up there, just put your cursor by it, scoot it down a couple. And we can paste in that code we just copied right there. Control V to paste. Always good idea to give your code a title up top. That way, if somebody edits the site after you, it's a courtesy. And the title is forward slash star star forward slash. In between the two stars, you can write what you want. It won't be read as code. So I'm going to write hamburger. Just so they know. Then if we go down, we don't need anything that we didn't write. So we don't need those first three there. Just going to start from where we started on transform scale. I'm going to delete that. And when you're happy, hit the publish button. Once published, we can go back to our little page here and refresh the page. And as you can see, that stayed pretty much permanent there. Now the actual hamburger icon itself, the three lines there, it's actually the color that I'm happy with. But let's show you how to change that. It's a slightly different one. If we look at our mobile menu down here, it may be closed up. But if you hit the little chevron, you've got a before pseudo element. If you click on that, mobile menu before and if we look down here we've got a color now we're going to have to overwrite that color so we'll use the important you can also scale this up and down using the font size if you wanted to so i'm going to click on the last entry there and i'm going to say color colon i want to make mine white fff so you can see the difference but we'll have to say important after it because we're overwriting the default styles there so important as you can see, that's turned white. And of course, to make this permanent, I'm going to have to copy the class name all the way down to the closing bracket there. Back to our customizer. We'll drop down just after here. Now let's delete anything that we didn't write, which is everything apart from the color right there. Great. And that's pretty much it really there's all kind of options you can use to style it more to your liking if you decide it's not high enough let's just click on this again there's the code that we wrote up there you can either give it a bit more negative margin at the top there at the moment we've got negative 20 25 will pull it up a little bit a little bit too much for me say 22. that looks about right and if you decide you haven't got enough margin or space at the bottom there you can add margin bottom if you want to and give it whatever spacing you want to on the bottom i'll give it 22 picks and you'll see the difference as you can see let's chuck that down a little bit if you like it with a bigger logo you can leave it like that and just take away the margin top and adjust it to your taste there Okay, I'll re-refresh now. It should go back to what we've got written in our customizer. Let's just refresh that one more time. Now that works fine for me. If we go back to our customizer, I'm going to go down and copy this and I'll put it all below the video for you. And if there's anything you don't want to change, if you don't want to change the scale of it, just simply select it, delete it, and obviously put in your own colors. Change your padding to how you want it. Like I say, put your margin how you want it to center your logo wherever it is. If you don't want the border A, if you don't want it to be round, select that and just delete it. If you want a thicker border, up that number there. Obviously, change the color there. Or if you don't want a border at all, just select it and delete it. Once you've done all that, make sure you hit your publish key. And we should be good to go. If we go back here, I think I might change that to 22. Seems to work better for it. Let's publish that. And go back and refresh and there we have it that works fine for me so i hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day